Hey, good morning. Joe here. It's Firearms Friday. We're in the MOW shooting range at Larry's on North Memorial Parkway. So today what I thought we'd do real quick, a short video on the differences between the Glock Gen 3, 4, and 5. But we'll go back and we'll start talking about Glock Gen 1 first. Now the Glock Gen 1 has been around since back in 82. I don't have a Gen 1 or 2 here because they're really kind of plain Jane uh, vanilla uh, guns. But I'm going to talk about the Gen 3, Gen 4, and Gen 5 here just a little bit. So this is a Gen 3 gun. Now, Gens are, generations are irrespective of caliber. So it doesn't matter what caliber it is, the Gen 3 has certain attributes. And I'm going to talk a little bit about the attributes of these things. So the first Glock, again, goes back to 82, uh, first Gen, then finished up around 87. Gen 2 comes around, and it has more front strap and a little bit back strap uh, checkering on them. Those run from about 88 to 97. Now this is a Gen 3. This is when they started to really kick it up. The Gen 3 has a nice uh, uh, grooving right here, okay, for your finger grooves. This thing makes a nice uh, grip, okay, and again, this happens to be a, a different caliber. This is actually, as you can see here, a 40 caliber. This is a 27. But it, irrespective of the caliber, the, the attributes that make it a Gen 3 are the same. And these grooves right here in the fingers, okay, no matter what caliber, what, no matter what size, that makes it a Gen 3 right there. All right, so that's one of the things that you can tell, and it has a, a nice uh, serial number right there. Now, when we get over to Gen 4, again, this is a Gen 4 right here. Still has the finger grooves right here. But also, if you look at this one, here's your magazine release. Now, see a nice big magazine release? Now let me back up to the Gen 3 just a second. See how small that magazine release is right there? Very small compared to the Gen 4. So the Gen 4 makes it much easier for you to release your magazine right there. So that's one of the major things. And then you've got this nice rail here so you can add a flashlight or laser or whatever you want underneath here. So that's, that's a Gen 4. Now, uh, another thing to think about about the Gen 4 it's this magazine release. This magazine release, you can swap it to the different side. So right now, of course, you see it's made for a right-handed person to press right there. This magazine release can be swapped over to this side, and you'll see right there. Okay. So you can swap it, and you can have uh, a left-handed magazine release for a left-handed person. So that's a key attribute. Now, let's talk about Gen 5 real quick, and I want to back up to Gen 4 for a second later. But Gen 5, you see, has a smooth grip here. Compare that to these finger grooves. Gen 5 did away with these finger grooves right here, okay? And they put stippling, and that's a proper word for this, by the way, stippling right there. They put stippling in here instead of having the finger grooves. Another thing, if you look at, at the interior, watch how, the, now this is, the Gen 4, you'll see this is more rectangular right here. You see this Gen 5 here is more oval. If you look at the difference here, you can see this one is a little bit flared out compared to the Gen 4. That makes the Gen 5 easier and faster to swap the magazine in and out right there. Also, you can swap the magazine button, the magazine release. You can make it uh, over here for a left-handed person also. And, of course, it has a nice little rail there so you can add accessories. Now, let's talk about magazine releases for a second. Now, this is a Gen 3 magazine. If you look real careful, right here is where the catch goes on the Gen 3, right there. Let's take a look at this Gen 4, Gen 5 magazine. You'll see it has indentations on both sides compared to this one. Okay, hope you can see that. And the deal is, if you swap the magazine release here on your Gen 4, Gen 5, this magazine will work because it's indented on each side here. And so that will work very well for you. So, this is what you're still seeing. Now, you can still buy very common Gen 4s and Gen 5s out there. Sometimes you'll find a Gen 3. You don't see many Gen 1s, Gen 2s anymore. Most of those are in somebody's uh, safe someplace. But you don't see many Gen 1, Gen 2s. You see a lot of Gen 4s and, of course, Gen 5. Now, again, these are all different calibers. One's a 40, one's a 9. What not? It doesn't really matter what the caliber is. Caliber has nothing to do with which generation it is. What matters is the attributes that are ascribed to that particular generation. So here's just a quick rundown of the attributes you can see. Gen 3, Gen 4, and Gen 5. Again, Gen 5 has this nice stippling right here, nice grip. Okay, Gen 4 and Gen 3 
have these grooves right here. That's the quickest and easiest way to identify which generation your Glock happens to be. All right, that's it for this week. Remember, all of us here at Larry's want you to stay armed and stay safe. Come and see it with us here at Larry's. Bye-bye. <laughs>